As part of the celebration of the 25th anniversary of Orthodox Christian laity, we present a two-part interview series with clergy and lay leaders entitled, A Vision for a Unified Church in North America. The interviews were recorded in Chicago at the 20th Annual Meeting of Orthodox Christian Laity, November 2007. Each presenter is expressing his or her view on the need for Orthodox Christian unity. These presenters live in the United States, represent different Orthodox Christian groupings, and advocate the development of a unified Orthodox Christian community in the United States. They experience and witness how the existence of 14 ethnic Orthodox Christian groupings is incomprehensible to even Orthodox and causes greater confusion for others. Orthodox Christianity is seen as fragmented and in a state of disunity, when in fact no sacramental disunity exists within the liturgical life of these different ethnic group churches. The Orthodox Church is united in its liturgical and sacramental life here and all over the world. The disunity is administrative. The existence of 14 administrative structures makes for a fragmented church, are expensive to maintain, waste the resources of the faithful who support the church, and dilute the Orthodox Christian witness and mission within the United States. Since these interviews were recorded, the Orthodox Christian community worldwide has recognized the need to address the disunity within the pluralistic cultures outside of the geographic boundaries of the traditional Orthodox Christian lands. These lands include Western Europe, North and South America, Oceania, Australia, and Asia. The patriarchs of the Old World Meetings in Chambonsay, Switzerland, October 2008, blessed the establishment of Assembly of Canonical Orthodox Bishops in these pluralistic cultural and geographic areas to meet and develop blueprints that lay the foundation for Orthodox unity in their geographic areas. Orthodox Christian Laity presents these edited interviews which address two questions. Why is unity important? And what can the laity do to assist the hierarchy in developing the blueprint for a unified church in North America? It is time for the Assembly of Bishops to move ahead and make unity the priority in Orthodoxy in America, and to inform every parish community about the progress being made to fulfill this objective and encourage the parishes to cooperate with each other. Amen. So when I make Jesus my Lord and Savior, that means everything in my life belongs to Jesus Christ. Do you understand? He's my Lord. I belong to Him. My family belongs to Him. My children belong to Him. My car belongs to Him. Even my sabata, my little dog. Everything I have belongs to Him. Why? Because it comes from Him as a blessing.